Hi, I'm Nick Baker, Director of Horticulture here at Bach Tower Gardens. And today we're in our greenhouse to look at, check on the progress of our Victoria water lily. Uh, the Victoria water lily are native to the Amazon River Basin. And they were first discovered in the 1830s and brought into cultivation uh, in the 1850s at Kew Gardens in uh, London. Um, they're also called the giant water lily, and they're called that because each pad of the Victoria water lily can reach up to eight feet in size. They make these just monstrous pads, and uh, <clears throat> each one of those pads is capable of supporting up to maybe a hundred pounds. Uh, there's a lot of old famous photographs of, of children and uh, people standing on, on top of these water lily pads. And I have a picture of my own daughter standing on top of these water lily pads. The other kind of interesting thing about them is they're really, really heavily armored underneath. They've got these super sharp spines that get up to about a half inch long and uh, protect the water lily. Every year we start these Victoria water lilies from seed. They start from a small seed about the size of a pea. And we get those in about January, and we germinate them here in the greenhouse, and then we kind of slowly step them up into bigger and bigger pots until they're ready to go outside. The water temperatures outdoors have to be around 65, 70 degrees when we can plant them out in our reflection pool. And typically we plant them out in late June to early July. These are just about ready and should be going out to our reflection pool by the end of next week. 